Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode we got a text from Nathan implying that he was in the process of removing the evidence, as it were. Uh, so we're here. Alright, uh, so we're here now to, well, stop him I hope. Oh god. This is when we get there and something blows up. It was all a trap to get us close. Oh god, rats. Why did it have to be rats? Oh, Jesus. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Yeah, plus you're just giving away your position. Oh god, is that... No, <laughs> it's just some junk. I thought I saw a body over here. Are you looking for something back there? Catch up. Well, yes, I was actually. Do you mind? Max, please hurry. I'm going as quick as I possibly can. Are you just covering up the body again? Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Yeah, it's it's not pleasant. Jesus. <gasps> oh no! Wind, wind back, wind back. One back, please. I can't. Chloe. He's. Look out. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Wait, was she. Oh, God, right through the head. What? No, 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 no. Oh. Chloe. We didn't even see who it was. It wasn't even Nathan, was it? God. I knew it was some sort of a trap. Who is that? Is it Nathan? It's probably not Nathan, is it? Mid Jesus, Mr. Jefferson. Plot twist. You know, to be honest, I was half expecting it. If you remember in the last episode, I saw him come round the corner and he was like, Oh, I'm Mr. Jefferson. And I was like, Oh no, he looks like he's going to turn out to be the bad guy. And he did. Jesus Christ. I really wasn't expecting that. Well, I was, sort of. I was expect. I called it, but at the same time, I was only joking. I didn't expect him to actually be... Oh god, Mr. Jefferson, why? You were the nice guy. You were... You were the decent bloke. Oh. But then, of course, I suppose most psychopaths will uh, do their best to make sure that you, uh... that you can't tell that they're a bad guy and do whatever they can to pretend... <laughs> Like, I know, I know, I, I know a very tiny amount of psychology. Like, it interests me, but I haven't gone delving deeply into it. But I read a lot of, well, I, I've read, I've read things. <laughs> but I suppose in a lot of TV, you'll you'll see the psychopaths. They'll be suave and sophisticated, and they'll be good people, uh, good with people. But then it's it's all just a trick to bring you in close enough for them to stab you in the fucking back. Or, as we just saw, stab you in the neck and then shoot your breast... Uh, breast friend? Bre breast friend. Breast friend. Uh, your best friend in the face. Oh, God. I wonder if he knows about my powers. I'm really interested to see if someone else in this game has abilities or I don't know is is, is gonna or is at least gonna realise that I have powers and I don't know know something about that like I really want to go into the whole the fact that I have powers because it seems rather odd like, this whole world seems completely normal, except for the fact that I have powers. Or at least my character has powers. Which I suppose is somewhat to be expected. Um, in any narrative, you need something to make things 
a little bit interesting, give your character that extra twist. I mean, of course, you can have a story set in a completely normal place and still be rather interesting just through natural character interactions. I mean, even if it was just these characters interacting normally, I think you could still make some really interesting stories out of it, even without the whole time travel angle. But I suppose from a gameplay point of view, having the whole time travel element certainly means... Um, certainly makes you think... Oh, I was going to say it certainly makes you think more about the decisions you make. But then, on the other hand, by giving you the choice to go back and change it, you don't think so much in the first place. You can try something and then go back and try the other thing, but only so far. So in a, in a way, it does make you think more about your options, but it does give you a little more leeway into it, I suppose. Huh. I mean, Jesus, Mr. Jefferson. Why, Mr. Jefferson? Oh... Uh, I should have made the last episode longer, of course. Instead of... I don't know. Well, stopping it halfway through. If I'd known it was going to be the end, which I should have guessed, really. Um, if I'd known, I would have, would have made the last episode longer. Why did he drug me, though, and then shoot Chloe? Oh no, well, I suppose Chloe was worn and did start to bring out a gun on him so it would make sense to shoot her first before she could shoot him oh, why Mr. Jefferson I'm trying to think if there have been clues or not but I don't know he oh that's a thought he didn't see he didn't really care much about about Kate did he that time she was talking to him looking for help and he just turned her away oh. other than that I thought he was a really nice bloke but no oh god I've just realised oh, remember when David Madsen was talking uh, I think I was reading some of his case files or whatever and uh, one of them was um, on Mr. Jefferson it said never trust a grown man with a goatee now, I'm not saying any a grown man with a goatee is something not to be trusted, but in this case he was right, and that kind of pisses me off. I really don't want David to be right. I don't like David very much. I want him to get better and start being right, and I don't want the things he's said already to be right. Oh, I don't... I don't like... I don't... This game, it just sends me everywhere. I love it, but at the same time, Jesus, it's a roller coaster. Why do you do this to me, game? Why are you so good at it? Physics by NVIDIA. NVIDIA and physics, both stylized and non stylized, are trademarks and registered trademarks of an NVIDIA corporation. And it's gone. And it's gone. Now that's a reference to South Park, I think. I'll be honest, I don't watch South Park. It's not my thing. Thanks for crying. You're welcome. How did you know? <laughs> I mean, I didn't cry at this point. I think because I'm on medicine. Well. Blimey. Let's see what... <laughs> I've, I've got time to fill in the episode. Let's see what... Uh... What everyone else chose. Uh, I refused Chloe's request. 42% also did, so more people chose to to kill Chloe, which I suppose in a way I can understand, but I'm not the sort of person who could bring myself to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm with the, the majority of people who stopped Warren from beating up Nathan. No one got hurt. Chloe killed Frank? That's an option? Jesus! Blimey, Victoria believed your warning. Ah. Well, only 7% didn't try to warn her. 
Yeah. I wonder if that's because they're dickheads or if because they played it through once being nice and then they're like, uh, let's see what happens if I'm a dickhead. Which I'm probably going to do in my own time, unless you want to see me play a dickhead run of this game. Let me know if you want that. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to... Oh, there's more stuff. I let the blue jay die. What blue jay? I didn't know there was a blue jay. You didn't disturb the bird's nest. <laughs> Good. I uh, I didn't know that was there. Found David's codes. You got to... Oh, people have actually tried to get his code. Well, got on him. Uh, good on him. Wonder how they did it. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Kate didn't help you. Oh Jesus! Of course she didn't help me. She's fucking dead. Blimey. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> you didn't motivate Daniel to attend the vo Vortex Club party. Probably for the best. Probably doesn't really want to be there. I wouldn't want to be there. You left a message on Warren's slate. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. I figured that would be a little awkward. Uh, figured out Nathan's pin code. You didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. That's true. I didn't. Use the other one. Uh, I helped Alyssa. Of course I did. I mean, as long as I know that I, there's something that I can help with, I'll be there to help. Sometimes, unless I'm too tired or lazy or hungry. I'll, I'll help you if I feel like it. Right, well... I guess I'll move on to the next episode. This one's run a little longer, surprising, since cut short at the beginning. But I'll see you all in the next episode. Both the next episode of my playthrough and the episode of this game. Oh, and, don't, and do remember to stay after the credits for a little sneak peek for the ne into the next episode. Bye bye <gasps> He's happy! Oh, look at him! He's so cute! Oh, your happy little friend! Oh.